There are four big moons of Jupiter, but the most interesting, most scientifically fascinating moon is Europa. Europa is uh, a moon that we've learned has an ocean, it's geologically active, and it probably has the best chance to have uh, life now, um, maybe in the solar system, maybe even a better chance than Mars does. Um, Certainly Mars is closer and more accessible to us, but if you actually look beyond Mars, you look to the world of the outer solar system, you have um, all the ingredients you need actually for um, the evolution of, of living organisms, at least as we understand it. And that includes you know, things like water and organic matter and energy. And uh, when I say that Europa is geologically active, I mean it really is active. It, it's a, unlike Mars, which is sort of it's not quite absolutely dead, but you know, if there was ever water on Mars, it flowed a long, long time ago, billions of years ago. But Europa has discovered the secret of eternal life, it, it, or the fountain of youth, anyway, is really what I mean, in, in that there's tidal energy that comes from Jupiter. It keeps its, the outer part of its ice shell liquid, so it has this ocean under its surface ice, and there's probably a lot of energy coming from the inside of Europa, from the rock and metal part sort of the, the, sort of the, uh, the Earth-like part. We got up close with Galileo and a spectacular series of measurements, both pictures and, you know, basically electromagnetic sounding and gravity measurements. We're all, everybody's convinced that there is, in fact, a deep, uh, when I say deep, maybe 60-mile deep ocean of water underneath the tortured ice shell. If, you, if we could fly back to Europa with a mission dedicated to figuring out these mysteries, to really exploring the ocean, we would want to take, fundamentally, we'd want to take a radar sounder, which is something where you could actually send radar into the ice, and it would go all the way through the ice until it reached the ocean, and then it would bounce and come all the way back to the, to the receiver, and you could actually tell how thick the ice was, and in fact, even what the structure of the ice was. It may sound like magic, but actually it's done. It's done on the Earth, and there is, in fact, there are two, two separate machines orbiting Mars right now, and they're using this radar principle to look through the ice of the Martian polar caps. So this is where we need to go. There's a big push to get the mission to Europa going. It's been actually, a sufficient planning has gone into it that we sort of know what to do. After 10 years of studying the Galileo data, we're ready for the next step.